We'll begin with the invocation. God, our Father, each day is a gift of your grace. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Better than life is your love. Notice that word, Alleluia. It's got an exclamation point with it, doesn't it? How do we say Alleluia? Do we say Alleluia? How do we say it? Parker? How about Alleluia? Let's read that last line again together. Put joy in our hearts and praise on our lips. Alleluia! Oh, that sounds a lot better, doesn't it? Gets you ready. We bow our heads in prayer. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. I've got a really simple question for you this morning. And it's so simple because you have been learning about this, many of you, since before you were even born. Some of you may be somewhat new to it, but I would say the majority of you know at least a part of the answer to this question. Are you ready? All right. Who is Jesus? And look, all, a bunch of hands shoot up because you know. You know who Jesus is. You can put your hands down because I figured you would know who Jesus is. So I guess our chapel's over since everyone knows who Jesus is. Right? We're done. Well, it is an easy question for us, right? Because everything we do here at St. Peter's is focused on who Jesus is. Whenever, wherever we look around, just look around within our sanctuary here, And you're going to find Jesus in multiple places as you just look around. You see Jesus even here with our Advent wreath, right? We see Jesus at the baptismal font. We see Jesus pictured on the wall, up on the cross, in the stained glass windows. We see Jesus everywhere. In your classes, you talk about Jesus and his love for you, his love to save sinners. You know all of those things. How wonderful. But, there are those who don't know Jesus at all. Actually, they know the name Jesus, but it's really quite odd when you start hearing some of the things that they believe about this so-called Jesus. Jesus actually asked this exact same question to his disciples. I wonder if it was kind of like what I just did for you guys, where I said, who is Jesus, and 150 hands shot up in the air. I wonder if the disciples did that too, when Jesus asked him, who do people say that I am? This is from Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 through 16. Who do people say the Son of Man is, Jesus said. They replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah. And still others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But what about you, he asked. Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. What a beautiful answer Peter gave, isn't it? A true confession of faith. He knows exactly who Jesus is. But like I said, there are many people in the world who have no clue, and yet still use the name of Jesus. Listen to some of these. 
The Muslims speak of Jesus. So do the Mormons. But these people will never get to heaven. Here are some of the things that they think Jesus is. They might call him Jesus, but they don't see him as the Jesus in the Bible. They might say, oh, he's a really good guy. That Jesus, good guy. Just a man, but good guy. They might say he's just a little God. A tiny God. The, the, the better God is the one in heaven. Jesus is just this little tiny God. Some say that. Some say, get this one. Some say that Jesus is just a spirit. And his brother is Satan. Some religions say that about Jesus. Is that true? No way. You see, the Jesus that these other religions are, are, are talking about is not the same Jesus that is found in the Holy Bible. Not even close. So there are many people out there when that question is asked that they have no clue. For us, the answer is super simple. But for them, it's non-existent. They have no idea. So when that question is asked, we don't want to just say, oh, everybody knows that. Well, actually, that's not true. So you might actually have to answer that question for someone once. You might have to give an answer for the hope that you have in heaven. So if somebody asks you, who is Jesus, what are some things you could say about him? Now I'll come around. What are some things you could say about who Jesus is? Right over there. Say it again louder. He's the Savior. What else could you say about Jesus? What do you know about him? Let's go right here. What do you know about Jesus? I'll, go, I'll come back to you. Oh, very good. He died on the cross to save us from our sins. What else do you know about him? He's the Son of God. He is God. He's part of the Holy Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. What else do you know about him? You should know something else. We just kind of did a bunch of the readings for it and stuff, right? Uh, Liliana? Okay, yep, he's the Savior. I think we did have that one, but yeah, absolutely. Eliana? I didn't hear you. He does. He has almighty power over everything. He's not a tiny God, right? He's big. He's the big God. Anything else? Cashton? The Messiah. Good. We go with Peter's answer there. How about the fact that Jesus is eternal. How about the fact that Jesus was born on this earth? His mother is Mary, but his father is God the Father Almighty. How about the fact that God came to this earth to live a perfect life, to fulfill all of God's law? Do we know that about Jesus too? We also know that Jesus preached to people. That his ministry was totally focused on God's love for mankind so that all would be saved. We know that too. It was also brought up by Braxton that Jesus willingly gave up his life for everyone. And when he did that on the cross, he did that for you. He was arrested, but he allowed it to happen. His death was allowed by him. He could have stopped it all from happening, but he didn't. Because he loves all of us. What a beautiful Savior that is. After three days, what did he do? After he died. Ella. Yeah. He rose again. He showed us that that's exactly what's going to happen to you when you die. When you die, you will rise again to live with God forever in heaven. Who is Jesus? 
What an answer to know. As simple as it is for you and for me, it's not for everyone else. So go out and tell people about him. Right, Milena? Yeah. Go out and tell people about Jesus and what he's done for you and for me. That's how we light the world. Amen. We'll continue with the gathering or presentation of the offering. thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the love of the Lord Jesus draw us to himself. May the power of the Lord Jesus make us strong to do his will. May the peace of the Lord Jesus fill our lives. Amen. We'll close with hymn three, or 436, Jesus, Shepherd of the Sheep. You may be seated. Thank you very much for your attention this morning. I have no birthdays at this time, as some are out sick, uh, but I will catch up with those next week. We'll have a whole slew of them. 
And I think I just got some new birthday books in stock as well. So there you go. Blessings on your Friday, everyone. For those participating in the spelling bee at 1.30, God's blessings to you as you show what you can spell. We'll see you at 1.30. Have a great day.